This is why we have to move on the bags that we like really quickly on TJ Maxx. So the last video I did was showing you guys some of the bags that TJ Maxx had. Then I said, my next video, I'm going to show you about 35 bags that I've chosen that you guys can look at and look what has happened. When you move slow on TJ Maxx, this is exactly what happens. People snatch them up. People are starting to know that the best quality when it comes to dupes is always going to be TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Let's see what has not sold out from the 35 bags I wanted to share with you guys. This has sold out, right? We can't even click on it because if I click on this one, there'll be nothing clearly sold out over here. The reason why I like dupes like this, it's almost mimicking the Fendi peekaboo, but not exactly. It's leather everywhere. I have this bag in lilac and it is so beautiful. This clutch. So everybody wanted that silver metallic gold clutch from Zara. Zara has nothing on this clutch. It too is sold out and you can see why it's absolutely beautiful but i don't want to click on it because if i click on it we're gonna lose everything the next one we have this red bag leather through and through guys this was such a beautiful bag i really wanted to show you guys this bag it's very reminiscent or very much like the the red bag all those influencers were carrying from ferragamo if you know you know what i'm talking about but again it's not an exact dupe you can see the ferragamo bag in this bag it's gone so guys next time i'm still gonna do another video to show you the beautiful shoes my fingers crossed that those shoes will be available i think what i'm gonna do this time is show you what i have in my favorites clearly People watched my previous video. They were not going to wait for my 35 bags. Guys, whoever watched that video, very smart of you. You were like, okay, because I was showing these bags without clicking on them. I'm like, oh, this is in my bag. So I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm going to show it to you next time. And they were smart enough to say, I'm not waiting for your next time. I'm going to buy the bag. Okay. So they bought the bag. This, uh, fish. A uh, clutch, right? Very beautiful sword out. I think, is it last year? Yeah, there was this thing where there was a clutch. Was it Lueve? I believe it was Lueve that had like a clutch of a bird, right? This is a fish. Again, just going through uh, the same theme of animals. So instead of doing a bird, they did a fish. Once again, different, but in the same style you know sword out see guys chloe sword out guys what you're looking at these are items i had in my bag in my basket to come and show you i had chosen these because i liked the way they looked i liked the quality i love the description on them they have sold out that's why it says this item is no longer available and will be removed from your bag because this was in my basket. So they're just telling me, sorry, you can't even buy this, even if it's in your bag. What? They're basically telling me, girl, you took too much time. See you. But the people who watched my video jumped on it. And I'm very happy to hear that. Another Chloe bag sold out. I showed this Chloe bag in my previous video. You can go back and look at it. But most of these bags that were in my um, basket, my shopping bag or my shopping basket or my cart rather, I didn't want to show you in detail because I was reserving for the next video. Here is an you know, I desperately guys wanted this bag I'm, and I'm talking about this, not the Chloe one. I'm talking about this bag. I think it was like less than $30, maybe even less than $25 to be honest, like maybe 24 
I really wanted this bag for this handle. Once again, I can't click on it because if I click on it, I'm going to lose everything else. I loved this golden handle and it had screws, right? So I had a bag in mind. I was like, okay, I'm going to use this bag for some time. But after I'm done with it, I'm going to take that handle, this one here, and I'm going to screw it to one of my bags that I had in mind. Lost that one too. Look at this bag. Sawed out. I mean, honestly, guys, all of these bags are gone that the people who watched my previous videos definitely jumped on it. And I'm so happy. Congratulations to whoever got these bags okay anyway so let me make sure before i go into looking at the other bags that are still in my basket all right so those were the only ones sold out let me make sure Ooh, only one left of that one all right so you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to click on the ones that are left and put them into my favorites because that way we can look at the bags a little bit better than, um, oh my God, I saw this uh, during fashion week. I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do here. Oh, this is beautiful guys. Three left of this Chloe. This is the same bag. This red one and this white one. It's basically the same. Here's another very beautiful Chloe bag. But I'm going to tell you why I added it here. This is so beautiful. It's all leather. All right. Let me just quickly do that. Add them to my favorites. Before um, they take them away. All right, guys. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm so grateful guys for the people that watched my last video keep on supporting me and i'll definitely keep on bringing these videos to you guys you see this is basically the same bag i guess i just added it there to show you guys that they have more than oh i'm so i'm so like the ones the ones truly the ones i'm very sad about i told you i have this one i really wanted this one i wanted this one oh not so much the chloe not i don't have the money for chloe and i wanted to buy the handle of this oh, i don't care about that but i wanted to show you guys i love the quality of all of them that's why i had them in my bag but i wanted to show you guys but the ones that i was looking forward to actually buying where let me just say if i were to pick three of the ones that have sold out it would have been this red one this clutch here i have this already that already has been shipped to me in lilac oh and i wanted this one that's like all right so now let me go to my favorites let's see what will happen if i go oh i have 30 items in my favorites oh my god anyway so i like the way the favorites are laid out so this bag guys let's look at this bag i don't remember if we looked at it in my previous video we may have something tells me that we did and if we did and i'm going over the same thing please forgive me but this is almost gone and they are only three left now as you have heard well some of you that chanel is offering you shh, for thousands of dollars right their quality is not good chanel survives on its name and honestly i don't blame chanel if you're gonna pay that money i would sell you shh, too right right that's how business goes but the smart ones they know better right now the people who have billions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars chanel price is nothing to them so if you see those very wealthy people carrying chanel every day for them chanel is not as precious as you who worked hard to get your five thousand six thousand to go buy chanel right when they're paying five thousand six thousand seven thousand ten thousand for chanel it's like a hundred dollars to us right so to them it's not a big deal you see what i'm saying so 
let's buy within our budget, but let's always go for quality. To me, this is just the quilting is perfect. Is it quilted? It is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to show you, I took a video from TJ Maxx the other day, and I believe this is the same company. They've duped another Chanel bag and it's the most recent Chanel bag guys. I'm not even going to go further. I want to show now that was in store. Surprisingly, I haven't seen it online. So if you like the video that I'm going to drop, you have to go to your local, um, TJ Maxx cause I never saw it, um, online. Anyway, just look at this traditional Chanel bag handles, right? This is obviously to protect your shoulders. So they have this black leather on there. I mean, look at this, the cream or beige trimming. It's just beautiful. And it's big for $300. It is leather and it's big. How much would you pay for a brand new bag that looked exactly like this, except that this was double C's. It was a CC. Tell me how much you'd pay for this, for this quality. Exactly. You would be paying for the name only the inside. I love the inside. I just love it. And look at this bag. Look at the finishing. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is better than when you see people complaining about how bad Chanel's quality has become. You see so much unfinished, uh, places in Chanel bags, right? Compared to the old Chanel or vintage Chanel, right? Look at this. I mean, look at this, look at the finishing of this bag, right? Absolutely beautiful. This is the back of the bag. Look at this guys. Look at here. Look at this. Tell me this is not a beautiful bag. But for CC, this is better quality than, um, uh, what's its name? Marshalls. Okay. On to the next, there are only three left. And by the way, guys, this is the stone number. I always emphasize that you take the stone number because if you want to get to this product quickly before it's gone as well, you need to enter that stone number. That's how it quickly gets you to this bag. So you can purchase and go. If you search by name, because TJ Maxx is a discount store often, not always often, it does not give you the result. I don't know why. Maybe they want you to see everything. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Right now this I'm trying to ask myself, why did I add this? It's Jason. Wu. It's, um, I guess I just liked it. I'm trying to figure out why I added this. I don't understand. I know I have a Jason Wu bag that he duped from Magella. Oh, that was so good. Like Jason Wu is a designer, right? But he does great dopes too. I mean, don't forget that these designers dupe each other too. Okay. Don't think it's the small designers that just dupe the big designers. Oh, don't think it's just Steve Merton that dupes the big luxury brands. No luxury brands dupe other luxury brands. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Now this is the Magella dupe. I prefer the Magella dupes by Jason Wu. I have one. The design is even better than the Magella for me, because when I went to look at the Magella, what is this bag called? The M6? Is this the M6? I don't know, but it might be the M6. I don't know, but this still looks good. It's not leather. It looks like leather. It feels like leather. I've seen this in store. I bought mine over a year ago, just when Magella produced their bag. Jason Wu was out with it. Mine wasn't leather. It's, um, what is it? It's like nylonish. 
in a beautiful army green and it has a utility pocket at the back it's exactly but better now this is also a dupe that looks amazing i love the color of this for just 29.99 don't forget that magella not all of this style of bags are leather they also have one in nylon as well they have one in cotton they have some in jean material then they have leather as well i believe right so this looks like leather and it feels very very soft now just because it's not leather it doesn't mean it's not gonna last you long i have several bags that are not leather that i've had for more than 10 years it just depends on how you take care of your bags and i'm telling you i have not been the best at taking care of my bags until recently but they're still in good condition as we've heard big bags are back i don't know when they left just because we started carrying small bags doesn't mean other people who need space we're not using big bags be careful of trends what they tell you is in and out this is very beautiful though it's big look at the inside right it has this it's like a cloth but it looks like leather it's absolutely beautiful this is the back of the bag absolutely soft love it this is the um, the style number if you need this bag for only $30 they have it in black as well right the same is it the same style number yeah it's absolutely the same style number they have it in black as well so if you like it in back black there you are anyway let's move on um they have it in white now the only reason why i'm going to show you the white one it's exactly the same they just have different style numbers the other one ended with two it was three three two at the end this is three three one otherwise everything else is the same this is ivory i mean look at the inside you have to know how to take care of bags like this and hopefully there's no color transfer but anyway let's move on who's the designer of this vince kamoto he makes pretty good um quality things right his things last so i liked the color combination of this spring uh it's canva it's canvas um it's small enough the color combination is beautiful it's a very i felt this in the store it's a very steady and well-made bag so if you guys like these color combinations then you can go ahead and get this bag i don't know if this is a dupe and if it is of what you know so there is your style number let's move on um we saw these bags like is it three four years ago i mean every influencer and their mother was carrying this bag right it was a little too much and it was quite small the ones they have well first of all i'm always gonna drop this so you guys can see the style number because we're we are in spring now at least in the united states and heading to summer i know in other parts of the world as we get into summer they will be getting into winter so keep that in mind but if you guys are going to be approaching winter anyway but tj max is only in the united states so you know but anyway you can still watch the video and you know see if tj max can ship to you internationally i don't know i can't say but you can buy this and keep it for when your summer starts you know because when our winter starts other parts of the world their summer starts but anyway so here we go with this bamboo moon bamboo crossbody with leather trim right so this is leather i mean the quality is even better than that name brand i don't know what the name brand was when it was popular two three years ago but first of all look at the size of this bamboo bag guys you see this is the reason why they have this is for you to get an idea of the size of the bag in proportion to an average woman's body right look at this this is leather what you see here is leather this is leather this is leather and this is the belt comfort for your shoulder right this is all leather this is beautifully made look at this guys and this is the back of the bag the belt the leather trimming 
gorgeous, right? And you can even carry it top handle. As you can see, all of this is leather guys. All of this you're seeing is leather. So if you just want to be pretty and go into the park or whatever you're doing in the city and the weather is beautiful and you're wearing your flowy, like, um, maxi skirt and the wind is blowing and you're just loving life because life is great. No matter what we're going through, the sun will rise tomorrow. Things will get better. No matter how bad things may seem now. Remember, you're lucky to be alive. No matter how bad things seem, things will get better. This would be beautiful. All right, so let's go to the next one. This I love leather i just love everything about this bag and i'm afraid this is gonna sell out after this video mm -hmm. because this quality will last you a lifetime you will pass it on to your daughter and your daughter will pass it on to their daughter if they take care of it very well it's non assuming, right? For those people that like quiet luxury, whatever that means, right? Or let me just say for those people that don't like loud bags, for those people that tend to love very solid colors or one color or people that like neutral colors or people that love browns, right? Or people that don't want logos, but definitely love quality. First of all, I like the simple elegancy of this bag right look at this bag so i might get this bag initially i thought it said gucci <laughs> but no but hey it might rival gucci's quality look at this guys like oh my god like if you go to work first of all you know you can carry this top handle right i hope these things are detachable let's see does it yes they have detachable adjustable cross body strap bingo i love that right so nothing to it but absolutely beautiful and look at the size and look at the shape of this bag i love it and you can see the cross body is pretty long but it's adjustable and it's just brown leather i believe they may have it in black um caramel um uh, but I just love it. And then once again, if you heard what I said in my previous video, I love when the outside, the color in the inside of the bag, whatever they use, leather or fabric, nylon, whatever they use, I want the color of the interior to match the color on the outside, the exterior, right? To me, that adds to the richness of the bag. Now, that doesn't mean i that doesn't mean like if this bag had for example a red interior that would definitely complement brown so i don't mind complementary colors i hate bags which i do have some of those that's why i don't like uh, when that happens but some bags they're just too beautiful that i don't care about the interior i know i can change it or i'm going to put uh, an organizer and if if it's just if the quality is great but the interior color is something i just don't like I can deal with those, right? But I hate when you have a bag, a bag like this and then the material inside is like some striped black and white or some flimsy material which shows that you were just trying to cut costs. Well, cut costs by at least adding a cheap material with the same color as the exterior of the bag. Just having the same color just makes the bag look even more expensive because you use all this leather outside only to cheapen the bag by the inside. The inside of the bag many a times is just as important, especially for us women, because 
our life is in the bag. So we take things from the bag. We take pads, we take perfumes, we, we, we take phones. Um, and if you're at work, you take your pen, you take your laptop. If you're at lunch, we are getting things out of our purses. So the inside matters too, but this is beautiful because the interior is just the same color as the outside. Look at this quality. Like guys, tell me this is not like i love the simplicity look at the side i love the simplicity of this bag anyway on to the next one this is a clutch right a uh, velvet clutch um it's only 25 dollars and it's just black and velvet like they say but the reason why i added it is once again for the same reason that i added the previous bag it's one color i mean it has golden accents or golden trimming right and a golden crossbody chain but if you're going out for example you know these days we carry clutches through and through right you can carry it daytime you can carry it evening in this situation i'm talking about if you're attending a wedding a party or going out at night right it's if you're wearing something and you just need a simple black bag, but you don't want it to be so boring, but you don't want your black clutch to fight or compete with your outfit. This is one that you carry. You know what I mean? This can go with a dress down evening. You can wear this with your jeans, heels, beautiful top, and this black clutch. Great. You can wear it with a beautiful gown, an evening dress, an evening out, outfit for a gala or something fancy and still carry this one. So it's multifunctional um, for that reason. It's a black interior. I love that. It's so simple. There's nothing to it, but there's a lot it brings to the outfit without competing with the outfit. Again, depending on the colors you have, but mostly it's present without fighting for attention is what i'm saying i absolutely look at this i love 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 anyway on to the next one for 25 dollars then i don't know if i showed you guys this bottega dupe the last time but i believe i did this is for you guys who wanted this is silver i have a green bottega dupe by another um, is it the same it's kind of different like the weaving is different i prefer to be quite honest the one that i like the weaving is not like this and the one i have is much softer than this one i don't like the black interior but i'm sure somebody's gonna love this bag this i mean i know somebody's gonna love it but the one i have i'm gonna show you i'm gonna make a video on it why it's better but anyway let's move on now this i just added it to show you guys so these bags tj max and marshall's have had this bag these bags for forever but let me tell you tj max will carry certain items for months sometimes even two years and you get so used to seeing them that even when you like them, you think, okay, I'll get it next time. Okay. It's going to go on sale. I'll get it next time. Oh, this bag is always here and everybody has it. But one thing I've noticed is once they stop, it's gone because it's a discount store. So once those items are sold out, you will never see it again. So if you really like something, especially if it has great quality at TJ Maxx, get it. You will be happy with your purchase two to three years later because what looked like it was everywhere, you'll be one of the few that have it. And this is the case with this backpack. For those people that love backpacks, it's soft, it's well-made. They have them in different colors. It's just a well-made backpack. I love the color inside complements the color on the outside. It's not the same, but definitely complementary. See, I mean, it's just a simple, beautiful bag with a top handle move, moving along. And here is the style number. Let's move on to the next one. Now, I know this is a dupe of something. I just don't remember what it's a dupe for. 
I'm sure people who love fashion and style, they know this. I, so this is pink. It looks more like a bubblegum pink. So for those that love this shade of pink, there you have it. I prefer this pink, which looks very magenta ish to me. And I love it's leather, right? It's a leather over oversized underlined un unlined hobo. I said underlined. It says unlined with what looks like those Bottega, you know, that you find on the Geordie knot, but sort of kind of different in a way. Absolutely beautiful. The fact that it's leather, right? just makes it beautiful look at the size of this bag it is big so for example if you've liked the bottega jordi but not necessarily the mini because they have large they have an extra large jordi too oh my god i just saw zandaya's um stylish stylist <laughs> i think his name is la roche he was wearing like this um camouflage with boots and he crossed his oversized Bottega Jordi and it looked amazing. And I loved this. I think, I don't know whether his was in dark brown or black, but it just looked amazing. So this is why they are saying unlined. It's leather. So you're looking at the leather inside, okay? You can put an organizer if you like. The only... Now, I would like to protect this bag if I bought a bag like this, right? Especially that it's unlined. If you spill anything, ugh. but when, if you use an organizer for a bag like this, I would say find a very soft organizer that, that, that doesn't take away from the slouchiness of the bag. Cause this is what makes this bag beautiful. It has that soft leather. It's malleable. It's uh, slouchy, right? If you put an organizer, it will add sort of structure to the bag and it will take away from the cool factor of this bag. You don't want this bag to be structured. You want that hoboness, that slouchiness is what makes it beautiful. In my opinion, do whatever you want with your money and your items. Just an opinion. Anyway, for $80, you can't beat that, right? Then we go to this one, which if this is a dupe, I don't know what it's a dupe for. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about this bag. Uh, I mean, I like this. I mean, what would you call this pattern? I don't know, but okay. It's huge. It's really, really huge. Lined black, same color, like it. And it's, you know, it's for the quite luxury people. You know, it's really quite luxury and it's well-made and it's leather and it has a top handle and shoulder. I don't think you can cross body this one. And this is the back. Yeah, you definitely can't cross body this. But I like that it has room if you put it on your shoulders. You see what I'm saying? All right. So let's go to the next one. Now, what is this? Let me see. You know, I think I added this because this is also kind of a dupe of Bottega, right? But it's not leather. And it's not even fake leather. It's some kind of material that stretches. It, it's, it's very durable. This kind of material is super durable, actually. It stretches. I love, and it's very thick. I know most of you who have Marshalls and TJ Maxx or have visited at least for the last month or two, you have seen this bag in TJ Maxx. And you're going to agree, it's not leather. It's not fake leather. It's some kind of material that stretches, right? It has give to it. And you're going to agree with me that it is a very well-made bag. What I don't like are the handles, right? First of all, I don't know why they didn't use the same material for the handles. 
for some reason i find like the handles cheap in the bag not too much but it's it's the only it's one of the things that was off-putting to me i know you will keep this bag forever and excellent for traveling right or putting laptops right or if you're a content creator but you can't put it on your shoulder because it doesn't have space it's just um, you must be very bony to even get a little bit of space under your armpits so it's basically a top handle bag and when a bag is this big i might get tired of carrying it you know so i might you see how big it is like i mean it's a nice bag you see even the inside so i mean li listen for the quality and the size the price is okay and they that was in green kelly green and then they have it in magenta as well you know so if you guys want it it's a good bag just know it's top handle through and through anyway then the next bag that i um why did i like this bag well it's leather too it's big big bags are in most people have gone back to the office so and quite luxury is I mean like i said i don't know when it left i don't know why they are saying this is papaya in which country is papaya this color all right not on earth but anyway so it's big i just love i don't know there's something i like about it I, I can't put my fingers on it but it's one of those bags it has four feet that is definitely going to last you a long time if you are a corporate girl an office girl um you know you don't work outside you go to an office you've got a desk job this is good to have okay and even if you don't have a desk job you can use this for the weekend guys you can go out with your girlfriends over the weekend and use this it's not only for the office now i don't mind the black inside i would have liked it to be the same color as um the bag outside but it's complementary to the brown so that's not bad and i like that these top handles have some leather to protect your hand if you decide to carry it top handle um or on the crook of your hand like this you know it's beautiful i mean and then it has a cross body oh by the way i forgot to let you guys see that on to the next one pretty much like the last black clutch we looked at i chose this for the same reason it's it's got a hard shell outside with texture that makes it very appealing I love, 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 love this golden top handle. The, 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 the accented ads is absolutely beautiful. Just imagine going for dinner, putting this clutch on the table. You know, psh, don't listen to anybody. Put it on the table if there's space so people can see it. Okay. Don't worry about people saying, don't put your bag on the table. Bad manners. If I'm with my man, I'm going to put it on the table because it's just going to be the two of us. Okay. Anyway, it's going to look so beautiful. Or oh, when you walk in, can you imagine your hand being through this, right? And then the gold, um, this gold chain will be falling over your wrist and your hand is under this chain and holding the bag here and you have it over. It, it will almost look like you're wearing a golden bracelet. And then if you don't want to carry it that way, you just use the top handle, right? And of course you can cross body it now for daytime this will be beautiful to cross body over some casual outfit right absolutely beautiful the inside not bad the bag is just simple but carries a punch right so there is um the style number they have it in okay so black has golden accents and white has silver accents. So you take your pick. I think they both look good. They both have their occasions, outfits, and times. If I were to pick one, obviously, I'm going for the black with gold. But the white is good too. You can get both if you like. Let's move on. And of course, I chose this Chloe. It's denim. It's almost gone. Only three left. 1550. Mm, Chloe makes very good bags. Um, I'm not buying this one. 
not for denim this done you know what i like chloe but not to this I, if you want it there is the thing but no absolutely no way off my favorite <laughs> Now this is leather, basically the same bag in leather. This is seventeen fifty. Chloe has amazing quality, and the craftsmanship is amazing. So if you have a Chloe bag and you bought it brand new from a boutique, from the big um, department stores that carry designer luxury designer brands, this is a huge bag. Look at it. Tell me how much you paid for this size or even smaller, right? Once again, you see how the inside is matching or very close or complementary to the outside because this is not leather. It, it might, it's the lining is not leather is what I'm saying. So, I mean, for those people that are brand people, they won't carry anything that's not a name brand it must be a name brand because my whole entire being and existence depends on the brands that i carry and wear here it is for you guys all right it's beautiful for 1700 oh only one left so hurry up for me mm -mm. uh i don't know why i have this here I don't know if you like it there you have it it's not my thing um i may have i need to write notes for why i put some of these things here i mean it's a nice bag but 50 dollars and happening now this bag i love it i don't know what it's a dupe for but it's leather i'm sure it's a dupe of something because i've seen a designer a bag trending that looks something like this but i don't know which one it is but the color is springing the color is saying summer spring okay this is the time it's absolutely beautiful leather as you can see just it's a big bag crossbody i love everything about it it's soft you know beautiful nothing more to say about this bag other than look at this absolutely this is the back of the bag you can see here magnetic closure right there absolutely beautiful this is the interior leather inside absolutely beautiful color in and out they complement each other the color doesn't take away it adds to the, the quality and the luxuriousness of this bag love it anyway and then one left when i put this in my bag i think we had more than one but again chloe 3300 if you've got it it's your money but it's it's chloe they can make bags and really look first of all look at how huge this bag is it's a designer bag luxury designer leather through and through and look at the size now to me the price it's overpriced but let's step into the world we live in right L luxury designer brands are expensive so now let's think in that inside that box let's not jump outside because they don't want you to jump outside so let's bury our heads in the sand stay in that box of luxury brands right just for a second it's not a bad price for what luxury uh, bags are going for Chanel Louis Vuitton look at this can you buy Chanel this size this much leather for 3,300 where brand new where it's not happening so this is a good price if we have our heads buried in the sand this is very good price look at that like you can see the quality i can even smell the leather the newness of the leather through the screen that's how good their quality is that i can smell you know when you smell that good leather you know when you buy a luxury car and it has that luxury. You know, leathers have different smells, right? Like, 
when you when you buy luxury it has a very different smell from cheap leather like this is absolutely gorge anyway moving along this is the style number and then i think these are absolutely gorgeous so i have it in they call it latte it looks like white to me um it's leather right I love the fact that it's top handle, but the, the handle is very substantial. It's like thick and comfortable when you're holding it. And it's, it has a glossy feel to it. It has a cross body springer summer, beautiful guys. Like, and if you like top handles and you like structured bags, look at this, it has feet four feet and then this um end of this bag protrudes so it also works as protecting the bottom of the bag but look at the interior of this thing it's absolutely gorgeous that golden metallic reflection in it just to me adds to the bag the gold is complementary to the white but the gold says i'm expensive i'm just not any bag i'm the bag for her you see how this bag doesn't have a lot going for it but it has too much going for it you know no let me say that backwards it doesn't have too much going for it but it has a lot going for it you know like this is a bag where people say oh that is so beautiful but it doesn't have all these trinkets all these bells and whistles with it it's just simply beautiful okay and oh let's see it in green now i like this i like the texture of this right this is basically the same bag in green Ooh, which one do you like same interior complimentary okay this is nice let's see it in red oh we have red we have green and we have white for 170 dollars oh my my which one are you guys picking which one do you want look at this all right there is the style number should you guys want it anyway i skipped this chloe to get to this so let's get to this chloe bag that has three left again like i said i like this accent here and i like that it's silver it would be great with gold but you know what somehow silver works well i love it love it you can put your hand here um it has a cross body once again chloe and its craftsmanship the way they make things is the quality is just amazing it's a medium size or small, I guess you can say, oh, it's actually three colors. So it has beige, black, and silver. See, it just looked like it were just silver, but no, look at that. You see that guys? That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Leather inside. Look at the quality. I can't, I can't, I mean, uh, Chloe has amazing quality. Look at this. And then Chanel is charging what? Like men, <laughs> Chanel got you for fools. But anyway, this is $1,700. Oh, gorgeous. Just gorge. Oh. Anyway, on to the next one. We looked at this. We looked at it in red. I guess they have these other different colors. This is a leather wallet that looks beautiful. That's why I chose it. You can attach it to your bag, you know, card slots. Soon enough, we won't be needing cards, honestly, guys. With the way AI is going, like our bank account number will be, we'll be using fingerprints, okay, to pay for things, not even the phone. All right, this is nice. Anyway, moving on. Now I saw this guys, this is absolutely beautiful. I have, I saw this. When was it? Like I saw somebody carrying this bag fashion week, three, four years ago. 
and they have it in they say multicolor i guess and they have it in black i i think i like it in this color i like this adjustment oh this is beautiful still the spotlight i like this it's just fun right and it's very sizable i mean this is a sizable camera bag now this is really a camera bag okay <laughs> i really like this the interior is complimentary i love it it's like rose gold or copper ish accents and it says smile Ketch. all right so let's move along that was just fun i absolutely love this for the season and guys 25 dollars for this bag for the season look at this it's a small basket bag i just love it it will go with almost most of the things right it's just beautiful that's why i added it i def do want this bag for sure and then this i have this bag as well um it's leather well made you know these bags are definitely going to be something five six seven even ten years from today because they're busy duping with great quality i think my colors are these it's huge guys oh my god I bought it for $119, $120. It's on sale now for $96. The thing is huge. And I, for one, don't typically like structured bags, though I do have a few. Um, so I'm holding on to this bag, and I don't know why. <laughs> I've been wanting to return it, but I love the quality so much that I feel like it's so wrong to return it for this price. And I haven't used it, but I'm like, what's the point? I don't buy my bags to resell. And these bags are on Farfetch, guys. If you are wondering, it's on Farfetch. Go find it on Farfetch. You won't find it for this price. And the ones on Farfetch are used and more expensive than these. Mm -hmm. Go to Farfetch and find this very bag. You'll be surprised. It's all leather inside, by the way. All leather everything is leather except the the accents everything and this is a backpack i was thinking about that because i don't think mine is a backpack mm. i have a whole box of bags that when i buy them and i'm not sure if i still want them i just put them there to think about <sighs> i don't know if mine is a and these things go in by the way as you can see here it looks almost like, I don't know, whatever. The shape looks different from here, right? This is the same bag. You can push this in uh, if you, and you can put, pull it out to create more room. But one thing I like about this is that it can also be a backpack, so which is pretty. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, now, oh, I guess those were all in my favorite. I think we looked at this bag last time. I'm not sure, but I think we did. It's leather. Look at this. Yeah, I think we looked at it last time. So you guys, if you want more details, oh my God, look how big this bag is. And I remember saying, I wonder if you can push these things back into each other, but just look at the size of this bag, $400. Look at the size of this bag. It's huge interior complimentary with the brown leather this is how it opens and this is the back of the bag absolutely beautiful anyway let's move along because i believe i looked at this bag last time now Anne Klein has been a designer forever and a day now Anne Klein is like i'm just gonna start duping like steve murden and i'm gonna make my money and boy are they not doing a good job duping look at this bag right it's not leather it's only 30 dollars they're duping chanel but the pattern is different right okay but it looks 
absolutely beautiful and i like that they didn't dupe it exactly it's inspired by look at this let me tell you look at this now and look at the size of this right again it's not leather but if you take care of this bag it will take care of you now look at this this is beautiful okay the color inside is complement or somewhat complementary right that's how much i like it i'm willing to justify the color <laughs> it's somehow complementary right and then look at the back like this is and it's soft to the touch it's absolutely beautiful now they have it in this color latte this is close to latte this is beautiful too this is for like the neutral girls the quiet luxury girls or any girl honestly i'm like i like the way the pink is i like the color the uh, what kind of pink is that it's just pink close to magenta but i also like this latte like there's something rich about this latte anyway guys those are some of the bags that i had in my bag as you saw at the beginning of this video most of them had sold out so unfortunately i couldn't show you those bags so if you saw anything you liked hurry now i'm so sure the girls right now are buying the bags and next time i come they'll be sold out just like this time anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video leave your comments don't forget to like share subscribe until the next style day